gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them choppers. Walking out the tent in blue Balenciagas. I call her out now, I got blood on blue Balenciagas. What it do, Bear Squad? My name is Bear Witness. Hope you guys are having a great day, and welcome back to the channel. Now, today we're going to be talking about 2K19, and in this, we're going to be further elaborating on some of the special things that you get to use in 2K19 when you pick up a primary archetype, or you pick your primary archetype. Now, yesterday I told you guys to make sure that you guys knew what you wanted to do before you made it, and today we're going to further like go on that so you guys can understand a couple of things. Now, first things first, the reason why I say that is the fact that with every primary archetype, you get a special you get special content for that. So if you are a primary slasher, you get special content, which means it could be special dunk animations, it could be special like layups, it could be any of that, and uh, that goes along to say with any other class. Now the first thing we're going to do to point out proof of this is we're going to be looking at Mike Wang's. Uh, uh, his more of his tweets about the things that you can do so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with the paint protectors now he says paint protectors get exclusive block content snatch grab blocks and smash shot percentages on good contests they also cancel offensive takeover skills when they're hot you can't you can't clear out a hot rim protector so that being said you can see that he not only do they get exclusive block content and snatch grab blocks but the ability to block the shot from like a standing shot as well. So that's going to be pretty great. Like I said, uh, centers are probably going to be pretty broken this year because they get a lot of special content towards them that they should have had for a while now. Like centers have always been kind of like that big staple in 2K, but they should have had things like this for a while. And I really feel like 2K is really coming up and making it more fun to have a certain type of build like there are things that in that build are going to be awesome so i cannot wait to experiment with some of them and i think i'm probably going to make about three characters but for him from that we're going to move forward into the post scorers now with this he says post scorers get a lot in takeover power back downs clear outs and spin drive content unique to their archetype boosted hooks fades shimmies and all so he says C Hoops hooked you up this year. So I don't I don't necessarily know who C Hoops is. Maybe I should look into that. But like stated, more even more new content. So this is what I was further elaborating on earlier was the idea that whatever you make is going to be unique to what you want to do. So you get rewarded for picking what you like to do. And I think that's one of the coolest things yet. So right now, actually I'm gonna show you guys before we get into the rest of them that um, one of the 2K fans asked him if it was, like, if it had to be just that archetype or a pure archetype, and he, right here he says, you just have to be, like, the example they use is a primary glass cleaner. So he said, primary glass, not just pure. So a slashing rebounder would get the same thing. So in this, he means that, like, you don't have to be a pure build. So when he says primary, he doesn't mean pure. There is a complete difference. Now, yeah, you get extra bonus, extra bonuses, <laughs> bonuses. You get extra bonuses for being a pure, like they did last year. But just because you're not a pure doesn't mean you won't get the same animations or effects or have any like non-exclusive content. You guys have access to all of that. Now we're going to cover two more things. We're going to cover slashers and revisit playmakers, and then go over to shot creators because we haven't talked about them yet so with slashers you get a big boost when using euro euros cradles hop steps spin lays and boosted contact shots and takeover so all of that gets boosted and takeover dunkers unlock special contact dunks that no one get now he doesn't say that that has to be in takeover so just like everybody most a lot of players could dunk anyways the primary slashers get special dunks just suited for them now this isn't the first time you know all of the contact dunks but what i'm curious of the way he worded it in that uh right now this is pure, purely speculation but what i think is that no matter what you're gonna have different dunks than other people so that's gonna be kind of rewarding uh because i'm gonna be making a dunker build once again we revisit the tweet that we visited last episode which was playmakers are the only ones who can put someone on their back with an ankle breaker they also get boost to their shot after breaking someone off the dribble and an extra dimer-like buff to their teammates. Now, I kind of felt like that was already in there when it came to, like, 2K17. Like, I felt that way, like, that a lot of people would, after breaking their ankles, they would, you know, have a heightened 
three point. I don't know if this is the first time they're elaborating on that or revealing that to be true, but that's what I thought already. But I'm excited that playmakers get their own boost as well, plus the ability to get like a kind of extra dimer buff because I'm assuming that they already have dimers. So having an extra buff on top of that means a lot of people are going to be able to hit, especially when they're open. So you'll be really rewarded for being open. So having a playmaker on your team and having a sharp on your team is probably a good way to go, especially if you're going to be playing a center this year. It's going to be pretty nasty. So the last thing I want to talk about is the shot creators. They get a boost when shooting advanced jumpers like spin and step back shots. They can also break ankles with step back jumpers when in takeover mode. So I think that this is going to be awesome. I'm glad that they have another ability to, you know, break ankles because they both could. And it's kind of like I can see where a lot of people would say, oh, that's a nerf because because I'm not a shot creator. I don't get to break ankles or because if I wanted to be a pure sharp, I can't break ankles or a pure shot. My bad. But um, that's not the case. Actually, they gave you guys they still gave it to you guys. And I also have word on there. I don't have the screenshot, but. They said pull-ups are going to be absolutely money for shot creators. They got a little buff there, too, because I remember when I used to try to pull up with my shot creator, I didn't actually hit that that much, and I felt like I should. So, pretty excited about that, and I really hope that the fadeaway threes are still going to be absolutely money, because I might be making that archetype as well. Now, one last thing. I know I said it was the last thing last time, guys, but one last thing I really wanted to make sure you guys know is I think this is actually monumental when it comes to 2K itself. Every archetype has some sort of mechanism to prevent abuse of their strengths. Slashers degrade when they repeatedly take contact. Perimeter shooters degrade when they have to work too hard to get up a shot. And over dribbling for playmakers was, well he says in this that it was not accounted for very well till 19. But I think that by him saying that he means that they've made it so. And I've actually seen it already. I've seen it somewhere. I don't know if it was a Mike Wang tweet from prior uh me making this video or something like that but there was a tweet that went out that said you know when you dribble too much that you your ball handling will go down and then the ball will be easier to strip so all of this guys we know that they're trying to balance out the game while also making the game very fun and rewarding for people as they grind out through their my careers and their my players now if you guys could do me a favor in the comment section below make sure you guys leave a comment telling me what you guys are making you guys can even use my comment section as a way to link up with people whether you're on PlayStation whether you're on Xbox you guys could do that start a conversation guys if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys leave a like and if you guys want more 2k content make sure you guys come up with that sub because we're gonna be recording the prelude we're gonna be recording 2k19 so I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time I'm out of here we gonna pull up with them sticks and hop out with them choppers.